Welcome, folks, to another Game Hoarder production. I'm your host, the Game Hoarder, bringing to you the Tesla Effect, another Tex Murphy adventure. It's been quite a while, my friends, but the Game Hoarder is coming back, and he's coming back strong. It's the turn of the year. December 20th fucking something anyways. So it's close to the turn of the year. Anyways, hoardlings. Let's get this party started. Where am I? Is this a dream? Not quite, Murphy. Then you're the, the big P.I. in the sky? That's right, Murphy. But now is not the time for you to be here. There is a vast and malignant evil at work on the Earth, and fate, for some reason that even I cannot fathom, has chosen you to oppose it. But why me? I'm no more thrilled about it than you are. Nevertheless, your fate has been decided. I actually didn't donate to this Kickstarter. But Tex is back, so who gives a shit? I remember when the Kickstarter started, it was around the same time that uh, they were doing the Gabriel Knight. Uh, what is it? I forget the name of it, but anyway, Jan Jensen was doing the Gabriel Knight spin-off deal. And I wanted to uh, kickstart both of these projects, but I was in deep with a lot of other heavy projects at the time. I think I was around the same time as Torment and Pillars of Eternity, and there was... I just couldn't afford it. Anyways, if I ever get a chance to get a physical box copy of this, I will certainly do so. Obviously, have several other LPs going at the moment. Divine Divinity and Wasteland 2 being two big ones. My name's Tex Murphy. I'm a small time private investigator in the big city of New San Francisco. My office isn't in the glamour districts, it's in the run down, mutant part of the city, close to Coit Tower. A place they've been refurbishing for years, but it never seems to improve. Not exactly great for business, but it holds a strange attraction for me. I've cracked some pretty big cases over the years. You may even have heard of me. But I don't do much investigating anymore. These days, I'm known for being a man who gets things done, no matter what the cost. You got a job that pays? I'll do it. No questions asked. I can't really remember why I became a PI. Maybe I was drawn to the romance, adventure, and independence it offered. Or maybe because I believed in its code of honor. That a man can remain untarnished as others sink into a cesspool of lies, corruption, and greed. A man better than the world around him. technology behind the CGs now. We've come quite a way since Pandora Directive and Overseer. But even a set of principles can slowly slip from your grasp. The world has a way of beating you into submission. Circumstances change. The guilty aren't always punished. Temptations become obsessions, and love can be violently taken, leaving it empty and hollow. 
Each day, innocence fades, and your character weakens. And that's not all at once, but a piece at a time, until you can't be put back together again. You finally realize the only way to get ahead in this world is to make sure you're on the winning side, and then do anything you can to stay alive. I don't know why I'm so reflective tonight. Maybe I finally crossed the Rubicon, but that's not true either. I passed that sign miles back and didn't even pause to take a picture. Maybe I just feel extra guilty tonight for what I'm about to do. There was a time when I would have never agreed to do something this despicable. I can't explain why I do this, but maybe Judas would understand. Murphy's a motherfucking dance instructor? I don't care! Drag him into the speeder! Look, look, look! The top window! I think we got him. Let's get out of here! Day one. A rude awakening. Or the seven year ouch. Commotion outside, anyway. Howza, you really got a hit on the head. Remember me, your old pal Huck? Seriously, you look clueless. Uh, who or what are you? Geez, how hard did you hit your head? Well, let me reintroduce myself. I'm your smart Alex, your personal assistant, version 1.5, fashioned three years ago in a factory with truly horrible working conditions <laughs> you don't want to know. I'm your trusty, tech-savvy sidekick, whose primary functions include travel agent, inventory tracking and analysis, investigative advice, case notes, and I'm also a confidant and a best buddy, you gigantic oaf. Remember? Not really. Would you like a tutorial on my usage? Oh shit, I got your tutorial right here, baby. Well, I say we watch the tutorial video. Activating tutorial mode. Let's begin. Welcome to the Smart Alex interface. This is where the magic happens. This button takes you to your inventory. Items you pick up along the way can be viewed and used from here. To take a closer look at an item, select it and then click the examine icon. The examine feature often gives clues about the object. This is your map, where you can view your current location or warp to other locales. This icon is our handy dandy built-in hint system. It will nice. list tasks for each location. This is your flashlight. If you are in a particularly dark environment, you can turn on this flashlight to help you out. If you're playing in casual mode, when the beam of light from the flashlight shines on an object that needs to be picked up, the object will sparkle. This is the look icon. If you want to look at an object without interacting with it, press this icon. Yeah, more furniture I don't recognize. The use icon allows you to interact with an object in the environment. The smart Alex icon will flash in the corner confirming an item has been picked up and placed in the inventory. To exit out of the Smart Alex game interface, click on the giant X in the middle. Let's start by picking up an item to add to the inventory. Walk over to the corner shelf and pick up the broken record. Oh man, my Gene Autry record's broken in two. Now let's take a look at this new addition in your inventory. Return to the Smart Alex interface and click on the inventory icon. 
Look, the broken record. Examine the broken record to hear a clue about what to do with it. I'll need some glue to repair this broken record. Exit your inventory by clicking the X in the upper right corner. Well, let's try picking up another inventory item. Navigate to the desk. Hasn't let me move it all yet. Huh? It's a bottle of stupid glue. Now open your inventory again. You now have both the broken record and the bottle of glue. Let's try combining your two inventory items. Select the broken record and drag it to one of the combination slots below. Now select the glue and drag it to the other combination slot. I'm experiencing a sensation altogether new to me and frankly, I love it. Success, you have now created a vinyl record. Well, I definitely remember my Gene Autry record. It's my one stability in this crazy world. Try using the vinyl record on your Victrola player in your office. To use an inventory item, simply point at the target, open the inventory, select an item, and then press the Use icon. I close my eyes ah, Gene Autry the Singing Cowboy. Nice choice of music. One, one more thing. To access the pause menu, simply hit Escape. From here, you can save your game, access the main menu, explore the help section, or quit the game. Yep, that's all there is to it. Now let's get back to your actual case. All right. Let's begin the Tesla effect. Maybe I can play too. Holy shit, I get to move around myself. All right. Ah, the Colonel. He was my first real mentor in the PI business, and here he is giving me a helpful tip. Because apparently you never learned the first rule of a P.I. And never, ever, betray your friends. Now friendship goes beyond blood and race and politics. You gotta find out who your friends are, then you hold on to them! I always get the chill of fear down my spine whenever I think of him. You have any facts? Where's this fucking facts machine? Archie Ellis wrote a book? I bet this sells for pennies facts? on eBay. What on facts? earth is this amount of cash doing in my office? If someone was trying to hire me to do something, probably wasn't legal. I better put this away until I know exactly why it's here. Oh boy, a fax. Well, it's another Mike and I Cammer Candy comic. My friend Louie runs the Brew and Stew, and this is his personal brand of coffee. I gotta say, it packs a wallop. When things get slow in the detective business, I've always been able to fall back on my skills as a dance instructor. When things get slow in the detective business, we heard you. Always, these are my credentials. They don't just give this to anyone. You have to. One of my golf partners, old Bogey, we call him. <laughs> it's my Gene Autry fake book. Oh, man, this record's broken in two. Blue's always useful. <laughs> this looks interesting. Probably a book on how to map out fun spots to visit inside your brain. My camera books are great, but I prefer stories about his crazy nephews, Mike and I Camer. I try to collect all of their candy comics. What crime against humanity have you created? I I close my eyes and dream of one. The one I love. It's a note from my old friend Archie Ellis. Apparently he's out of town doing some research. When he returns, I'll need to ask him about the case we're working on. Alright, what else can we get in here? Play with the guitar? Oh, man. My Richie Haven's signature guitar signature disappeared. That'll teach me to get an autograph with a dry erase marker. My friend Louie runs the Brew and Stew, and this is his personal brand of coffee. I gotta say, it packs a wallop. I see my credenza is still keeping dust off the floor. It's 
one of my business cards, but it looks different. When did I change these? Enigma. <laughs> Sounds like the story of my life. <laughs> well, this looks interesting. Probably a book on how to map out fun spots to visit inside your brain. An article on the Russian white movement. Am I truly so bored I'm reading Russian history? My camera books are great, but I prefer stories about his crit. Mm. No messages on the vid phone. Looks like somebody's wiped my computer clean. Well, fuck them. Archie Ellis wrote a book. I bet this sells for pennies on eBay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. Nah. These are the fedoras I've collected over the years, and I take great care of them. Hey, one of these has a hole in it. How did that happen? The old trusty sidearm. Been with me since the beginning. You want some of this, huh? Bam, bam! Hey, bam, bam, bam! Bam! Bam, bam! Bam! And you! Hey, hey, Sonny, can you help me out? My girlfriend threw my gun out of the window. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just pick it up and, uh... Hey, don't, don't point that thing up here. That's not a toy, you know. Oh, my hell. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. Whoa, this melted chocolate bar's been in here for a while. <laughs> chocolate Yummy! One of the residents at Chandler Avenue. This isn't a good time for a social call, punk. If I don't get a fix soon, I'll go insane! Dory me for a lot to do! What do you mean, go insane? Seems to me you're already there. How do you get lost before I eat that chocolate colored hat of yours? <laughs> Yeah, I remember years ago, I was finishing up the latest Mike and Ike Candy Kids adventure, and I realized I devoured several chapters, and it wasn't agreeing with me. I could feel my stomach churning like a volcano, and I realized I wasn't going to make it to the bathroom. Oh, what the... I'll get you, Miffy, if he's the last thing I do. Yeah, it's kind of been a sore spot in our relationship ever since. Yeah, well, that tends to happen when you puke your guts up all over a guy. And this is our comic collection we're building here. We have issue one and three so far. Yeah, San Francisco looks way different now. <laughs> so's the inside of my asshole. Picked it up at a government warehouse sale years back. It's fucking scary. I certainly don't remember the Whoa. I've never seen this much money in my life. If this is my money, what were they paying me for? Perfect. All I need is one good night stand. That was for my first jackalope hunt. The door to my back storage room is locked. Oh, I had this door permanently sealed as it opened directly into my bedroom. People thought that was awfully presumptuous of me. So, it wasn't a horrible dream. There are gun shell casings and a shot out window above the electronic shop. I know I'm involved, but how? I should investigate the area and then find out if anybody else heard the commotion.
Chelsea's newsstand is completely abandoned. I need to find out what happened to Chelsea. Where's Chelsea at? I was gonna try to bang her this time around. Fucking mutated twat. Lead pipes are always magically drawn to my skull like moths to the flame. What the fuck? Lead pipes are always magically drawn to my skull like moths to the flame. I don't want to watch this shit again. I wanted to fucking... <laughs> That's an empty vial. No shit, Sherlock. It's an empty vial. Where is he shooting from? Look, look, look! The top window! I just shut out our headlight. Remember speeder headlights coming down the alleyway. It's the Wardenclyffe Tower. A Nikola Tesla invention. I have the strangest feeling this is related to a case I was working on. It's the Wardenclyffe Tower, a Nikola Tesla invention. I have the strangest feeling this is related to a case I was working on. Holy shit, all right! Game holder back in full effect, baby. Anyways, before the introduction and all that started, I was gonna say... Uh, the game order is going to be back in full effect in 2015. I've been taking a little bit of time for myself and my family. And of course, the holidays of Christmas and New Year's gets a little bit busy in December. <coughs> Besides that, next month in January... Bitch, stop texting me! In January, we'll be uh, diving deep into the LPs and finishing up the Wing Commander and the Heroes Quest... Or, excuse me, the Quest for Glory 3. Um... Divine Divinity and Wasteland 2 are going through a series of rather large patches and updates, which is kind of why I've been holding off on those. So, kind of waylaying those and uh, hoping that they get patched here soon. And I think Wasteland 2, I, I just got that patch, so I might upload some of that. And I think Divinity's got a pretty big patch coming out as well, so that should be... Uh, Worth waiting for. Another Mike and I camera. Anyways, candy, candy, a lot of people have been requesting Tesla Effect for a while, and it is the last of the Tex Murphy games that I haven't done. So I figured I'd knock this bitch out the park while we wait. Ah, it's a Mike and I Hammer Candy comic, Citizen Candy Cane. A lot of comic books around here. Ah, looks like Louie at the Bruin Stew is preparing to open up shop. You should go talk to him. Maybe he heard something. Uh, it's a Mike and I Hammer Candy comic, The Sweet and Sour Lady. I'll put this in my comic book rack back at the office.
like an Ike Hammer. Murder, my sweet. of exploring here. Another Mike and I camera candy comic. Another Mike and I camera candy comic. Graphics are fucking phenomenal, by the way. It's got that original Tex Murphy look. The Mars sky and the buildings and the Blade Runner-ish esque atmosphere. In San Francisco, a story Every few years, Colta. someone gets the bright idea that this place should be preserved. Repairs are done for a few months, then the workers disappear when City Hall realizes what type of people really inhabit this place. My nose has started sagging lately. Makes it hard to breathe. Now, what kind of info are you looking for, huh? Alrighty then. I remember Elephant Fuck. He was an interesting character. Going up. Going way the fuck up. Whoa. I wasn't always nervous about heights until my under a killing moon case. I was trying to break into a luxury high rise and slip from the 32nd floor. Looks like no one's home. This is gonna be easier than falling off a horse. Uh... A this homage to Under the up. Killing Floor. Maybe if I... Whoa, whoa. Whoa. I mean, Under a Killing Moon. My bad. <laughs> Fortunately, I hit an awning before I hit the ground, but I didn't stop bouncing for about 30 minutes. It's kind of like bouncing off a rubber tree. And hold down the shift key and you can run a little faster. That's good to note.
Anyways, folks, I'm going to wrap it up for this video, and we'll see you soon for more Tex Murphy and the Tesla Effect. Thanks for watching.